वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल जस्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे वी विल लर्न क्लास एट फिजिक्स चैप्टर प्रेशर पार्ट नाइन सो इन दिस पार्ट वील लर्न अबाउट अ न्यू फोर्स एंड द नेम ऑफ दैट फोर्स इज बियॉन्सी फोर्स Bionsi force. Now we will learn what it is. First, there was a four-year child, and he questioned, "How do you wash your hands to another one?" He promptly answered. the water from the tap with the water from the tap a 12 year boy was questioned that how do you get water in your tap he answered we have a strong tank the upstairs which gets filled up when we switch on the motor okay now this is how in this modern age the we get water effortlessly right but in most of the villages the situation is entirely different when agriculture fields are watered by manual drawing from wells leave alone the domestic purpose for their daily requirements village people draw water from wells with the help of a bucket tied to a rope when the bucket sorry when the bucket is released into the well it gets up with the water and then sinks to a certain depth in water now try to pull out the rope and observe while drawing water from a depth to the surface we feel that the bucket of water is very light and almost weightless weightless but when we draw the water from the surface to required height we feel some heaviness or weight of the water from this act it is clear that an object can be raised or lifted easily inside water but have you ever thought what makes this raising or lifting easy so it is like this is due to the invisible force that is exerted on the liquid sorry by the liquid on the body in an upward direction this upward force is called buoyant force from the above activity it is clear that some invisible force acts in upward direction when the body is immersed in water this force makes the bucket sorry this force makes the weight of the body less than the actual weight the loss in water is caused due to the upward force acting on the body it is called buoyant force and the property is called buoyancy the definition is like the upward force the upward force which is which is which is acting on a acting on a body 
body body when it is when it is completely or partially immersed or partially immersed in a fluid in a fluid is called up is called up thrust or beyond force force and the phenomenon is known as is known as buoyancy i hope you have understood till this now we will learn an example of buoyant force first is when we lift a stone in air we feel it heavier but inside the liquid we feel it liquid we feel it to be lighter because water exerts an invisible force or a thrust on the body which decreases the weight of the body that that is why we feel it lighter inside the water than the air second example is second is when a swimmer jumps into water water from a height he finds himself being pushed towards the surface of this of the water without any effort on his part third example is a stone which is dropped falls down with an acceleration of 9.8 meter per second square in the air the same stone moves down the water with an initial acceleration of 7.8 meter per second square due to upward buoyant force i hope you have understood this buoyant force in part 10 we will learn about archimedes principle and we'll learn about that principle and conclusions if if the time is managed we'll learn about relative density too thank you for watching today's video for any query and doubt you can join the telegram link given in the description of this video like this is the foundation of class 8 we have covered the foundation of class 7th to the links are given in the description please go and check through it thank you for watching